in bad TikTok trend ideas, there was a TikTok trend where people were stealing cars that were particularly easy to sell, steal, Hyundai and Kia in particular. So Hyundai and Kia apparently were not designed really well with the anti-theft in mind. And they were apparently very trivial for someone to basically hotwire. Now, basically every modern car in existence has been designed to prevent that. You know, we have these wonderful computer chips now that make it very, very difficult to hotwire cars because you need the, the computer chip to authorize the thing. And that only happens when you turn the key, which also typically has a computer chip in it. So, you know, hot wiring cars is not exactly as easy as it used to be. But Kia and Hyundai over here, well, they're like, well, you know, we like the old school thing. We like to really make it easy to hot wire our cars. Well, they were sued and they now agreed to pay a $300 million class action penalty to all the people because, you know, they designed their cars bad and they were really easy to steal. So, you know, you design basically product defect. You made it really, really easy for people to steal our cars. They're stealing our cars. You could have not, you could have made it like not trivial, but you've totally failed. So, you know, pay us some money. So they've agreed to pay $300 million in the money because they're really, really shoddy designs. Let's learn more. Hyundai and Kia said on Friday they reached a settlement to resolve the class action lawsuit that was prompted by the TikTok videos that showed it how easy it was to steal cars. In fact, no lie, I was in an elevator in my apartment complex. And the person in the elevator was just talking on the phone about how someone they knew or someone that they were talking to and the person that they knew had been caught up in this trend. So apparently they knew a guy or knew a guy who knew a guy who had been caught up in this and apparently had been arrested. And she was over, she was talking about that on the phone. And I was like, that's pretty hilarious. So yeah, apparently it has affected a lot of people in a lot of places. The settlement apparently will be valued at about $300 million, and we cover about 9 million vehicles from 2011 to 2022, because we screwed up this thing for a long time. And not like the technology wasn't known. It's been known for a little while at this point. So why weren't you putting it in your cars even in 2011 is beyond us. The cars are notably not equipped with push-button ignitions or mobilizing anti-theft devices. So, you know, it's just, it, 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 this is not exactly hard at this point. You know, you put the computer chip in the key, you put the computer chip in the ignition, you need the two to talk to each other to cause the engine to start. This shouldn't be this hard, but for some reason it's this hard. So, yeah. this failure allowed thieves to easily steal the cars by using just a screwdriver and a USB cord, which then created a rash of auto theft. So basically, we're just going really old school with hard wire, with hot wiring the cars. You know, not, yeah, just get a screwdriver and hot wire this thing. Well, the, the technology has moved somewhat, and, you know, you could make it not this trivial. A lot of insurance companies also have been looking at this issue. And some insurance companies even have even said they won't insure these cars because of how easy they are to steal. So the insurance companies are also not thrilled with having to pay out the massive amounts that they've have been having to pay out because these cars are really, really easy to steal. So it's not been going great. The settlement will provide cash compensation to customers who suffered a theft-related loss or damage, which would not have been covered by insurance. So if your car was stolen and your insurance didn't pay out, then we got your back. As well as reimbursement for insurance deductibles, increased premiums and other losses. Because as I mentioned, insurance companies sometimes have just been flat out denying coverage and sometimes have been raising coverage because the risk profile is higher because they're real easy to steal. So we will pay you for your losses. We will pay you for your insurance premiums. We will pay you for your deductibles because we screwed up. So, yeah, a software update will also be provided to some eligible owners. So apparently some of this can be fixed by software, 
which means it could have been software in the first place, right? Some of this might be hardware, but some of it is software. We just didn't bother to put in the right computer code. Okay, that's great. Kia and Hyundai have also given impacted customers free steering wheel locks. We have brought back the club because, you know, we used to have this thing called the club because a lot of cars could be hotwired. And so some people got this thing called the club to, you know, make it harder to steal the car because it would be harder to, you know, to drive the thing. And we've brought back the club. That's great. For customers with vehicles that cannot be accommodated through the software upgrade, we will give you $450 to have this done by a third party. So again, this used to be something that was a lot more common. As, as customers were having their car stolen, there used to be more third parties that would provide anti-theft devices, which worked to varying levels of success in helping to prevent the car and immobilizers and things like that. So there was this technology that could have been done by third parties before it was done by the manufacturer. So we're going back old school. Talk to your local trade shop, get those immobilizers and get yourself a club. We have gone back 20 years in time, people. Wow. The total settlement amount will depend on how many customers participate. So the amount is variable. Hyundai and Kia failed to sell cars equipped with fundamental anti-theft features that was not victimless. Yeah, again, this shouldn't have been this hard. This technology has been well known for a while. It was well known in 2011. It's of course gotten better since then, as all technology does. But even in 2011, it shouldn't have been this trivial. So why did you design your cars this badly? You just literally didn't care. And you created a basically defective product that caused problems. So yeah, that, yeah. We're pleased with the settlement reached as an immediate ability to hinder thieves, as well as compensate victims of thieves that have already occurred. The proposed settlement will be reviewed by court and is expected to be approved probably in July. So, coming down the pike, as it were. The wave of thefts began in 2021 and spread nationally with a spike last summer based on the instructional videos posted on TikTok. Here is how to steal the car. If you do this, you can steal a car, which by the way, the instructions alone are of course legal. So you can't arrest the people merely for providing instructions on how to steal something because that is not illegal. You can provide instructions on how to commit a theft or any other thing. It's like, here's how to go about it. As long as you're not specifically encouraging a specific person, right? Then it's not solicitation. You're just giving generally interesting information to a generally interesting audience. And people were very generally interested, it turned out. Some police departments reported continued thefts despite the anti-theft software nearly three months ago. So they tried to fix this with some anti-theft stuff, but apparently it may not have been fully successful. So maybe give it another go. Hyundai and Kia, for their part, among their chief legal officers, stress that the companies are committed to, le to customer safety. Uh-huh. The chief legal, legal officers over here are having a bad day <laughs> for Hyundai and Kia. When chief legal, yeah, it's not going great. We appreciate the opportunity to provide additional support to our owners who have been impacted by this increasing and persistent crime. Uh-huh. I am sure you appreciate the opportunity. I'm sure you really appreciate the opportunity to spend $300 million. Probably right about now, you are muttering under your breath. Why are our clients this stupid? I, I, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm going to just assume it. That you're like, you know, hey, you know, why did you do this? Why are you this stupid? Why is this my problem? Why do we have to write a $300 million check? I hate you all. So that's probably what the unofficial statement is. The official statement is, we appreciate the opportunity. Okay, fine. Thus, that brings us to the end of the discussion of the TikTok trend, which has ended in $300 million of cash. And we are going back old school. We're bringing back the club. We are bringing back the anti-theft devices by the third party shops. We are bringing this back way old school. And we're just doing the 90s all over again. So fun times for sure. So they have to pay the money. 
for the things. And maybe here's a thought. How about just design your car so they're not completely stealable? That'd be great. Just use the technology that's like readily available. It doesn't even cost very much. It's not even like a cost thing. How much could it possibly be? Just do the thing like everyone else does. It'll be fine. That for the moment brings us to the end of discussion of this story.